Emily sensible. Yeah, you know, I don't care what she told you, but there is no way she's getting rid of your child. There's a no condition to have a baby with anybody, but especially me. She's furious at me. She gave me back her wedding ring. Oh, nice touch. I'm just saying, I, I really think that everything's going to be OK. You know, if there's anything I've learned in the last couple of months is that trusting Emily is a very bad yeah, idea. But you didn't talk to her, OK? This pregnancy has been a wake-up call for her. And I, I really think that she's rational now for the first time in months. Something has clicked, and she finally gets it that it's over. You know, I want to believe that. I really do. And even if she means it and she's not snowing you, it doesn't mean that she won't turn around and change her mind last minute. No, I don't think so. She's going to jail. She knows that. She knows that she has no possibility of having any kind of relationship with this child. She's not thinking about the child, Paul. She's thinking about you. The one person in this world that Emily truly loves is Daniel. And she knows how much she's botched up that relationship. And she's not going to run the risk of harming another child in this world just to get at me. Emily will go through with this abortion. And you're okay with that? I mean, this is your child too. Your first. Okay. I know. I know that this is all really upsetting right now, but I think it's gonna. It's all gonna work out. You never answered my question. But how do I feel about Emily's decision? Well, I think, you know, given her health and uh, her state of mind, the fact she's going to jail, so it's the only solution. And you have no feelings about it? I think the whole thing's really sad. I do. But I know that I'm going to have children. You know, when the time is right and when I can, when I can give them a, a loving, stable home. This is not the time. And Emily is not someone who I want to raise a family with. And besides, there are a lot of things in this world that I really do want to do. Such as? Um, okay, do you remember those few months we had in that cabin? <laughs> of course you know, I, I do. I didn't know you very well. I still don't know you very well. And I don't think you know me very well. And we need this time, Meg, just the two of us so that we can learn about each other. Why do you do that? I just, you tell me, you, you, you want to know what I want, and then I tell you, and you, you get all it, quiet. You know what, it's not that. I, I have a history of getting involved with unavailable men, and then I have a tendency of, of, of panicking, because I think I've gone and done it again, and. OK, listen, Emily shot. Right, like, I know I deserved it. Nobody but deserves to get shot. What does that say about my track record? It's worse than mine. <laughs> All right, look, I know Dusty's unavailable, like you say, but, you know, he's capable of being a decent guy when he wants to be. Emily needs help. I'm sorry about dinner. It's okay. You just got scared. I'm still scared. So am I. But I love you. I just want to jump out of this plane, you know? You want to go skydiving? <laughs> oh, I just... I want to be happy. I want to make you happy. And I think, Meg, that if we're honest with one another, we got a decent shot at getting what we've always wanted. Oh. And what's that? Oh, just to hmm. love somebody that actually loves us back. I never had that. I've had it. For like a weekend, maybe a week, a month tops. <laughs> but it never lasted. And this is, this is gonna last. How do you know? Because you're a keeper. Oh, I know. What exactly does that you mean? You know exactly what that means. And I think, Meg, that if this is what you want to, then we can get there. And why should I listen to you? Because you know I'm right.
you're not convinced. That we're meant to be. That we're worth fighting for. with me, but you're wide awake. I am dressed. What, who was that on the phone? It's a surprise. Get up. Come on. Get up. Get dressed. Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? Because if you're hungry, we can eat, but I'd rather eat after if it's okay with you. I'm just, I'm really excited. Mm. What? Oh, what's a surprise? Well, if I told you what the surprise was, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Uh, well, I need to know. Why? Look, you don't have to get dressed any certain way or pack any bags. You just need to trust me. You're not going to have a problem doing that, are you? I I've just had a few too many surprises lately, and I just don't need another one. Well, uh, what do you think the surprise is? Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, you're going to surprise me with a tropical vacation somewhere or maybe an expensive piece of jewelry, something, anything, to prove that you're not thinking about what I know you're thinking about. Really? What would that be? Emily. Emily. What's it going to take to convince you that Emily's out of our lives? Well, the fact that she's pregnant with your baby isn't exactly reassuring. She's not having the baby. I know, and I know she told you that, but I can't stop worrying that she's just going to change her mind. I mean, come on, Paul, what do you expect? I'm in love with you. Why do you look so sad when you say that? I want to be happy. I really do, a and silly, and giddy, a and I want to spend every hour living life with you. Okay, well, let's do that. Yeah, until we get zapped with some other surprise. Okay, I probably should have given you a heads up. <sighs> yeah. It's a really good surprise, though. I found a place to live that I really like. Oh. Well, well I, I could see how you would feel crammed in this place after living in your apartment. Look, I got these photos off the internet, okay? Look at that kitchen. <sighs> that's, that's, that's pretty. But uh, I'm not a good judge of kitchens. I, I don't even know how to cook. You can't cook? Really, you can't cook? <sighs> it's okay, it doesn't matter. I'll cook. Look, I know you like books, okay? So... There's an honest-to-God library right off of our bedroom and the house sitting on top of the hill. Oh, so from wait, one wait, side, you can see down onto a back river. Up. Our bedroom? Yeah, well, that's a surprise. I want you to move in with me. I can't. Why not? Oh, oh well, it's just too... Uh, what, too small? It's too small. No, Is it too big? It's too, too fast, big. Paul. It's just too fast. You're the one that pointed out that we don't know each other very well. I mean, you didn't even know that I can't cook. I, you're, you're Emma Snyder's daughter. I just assumed I... I mean, you really can't cook? Not, not even a little? Come on. Look, we have been through... more than I've ever been through with anybody else. Yeah, Jail, attempted murder charges, blackmail. Yeah, and, 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 and we got through all of that together because we really fit. And the more we get to know one another, the more we understand why. And I want to move in with you because I want to learn everything there is to learn about you. We fight all the time. Well, only when you are completely wrong. I'm just kidding. Kidding, come on. Look, I never know what to expect with you, all right? And you challenge me. You know how many times I've wished that you would just blindly go along with me? And you never have. You never did. Never will. And you never will. And I love that. I do. I love that. Meg, I love you. How long, Paul? How long will you love me? I'm willing to risk a few decades, okay? <sighs> do you like flowers? I don't know. 
If you like flowers, we'll have flowers. We'll have a garden. We'll have flowers all summer long. There's room for pets. Do you like pets? I don't know. We can have fish. We have mice. You can have cats and, and dogs and horses. Oxen. A giraffe. No pets? You don't like pets? Okay, forget about the pets. Can you really cook? Oh, I can cook. <laughs>